Hello, welcome to the review today. Today I'm going to talk about the new TV series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, from the Disney Plus channel. After, obviously, the Avengers of the Sea finishing quite a few years ago, I didn't expect them ever to bring back these two characters again, the main two characters from Avengers of the Sith, which is obviously Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was originally mooted over the years to be a movie, and obviously then it transpired that Disney Plus wanted to make it into a mini TV series or a series in general. So after watching the sequel movies and watching a Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, Han Solo movie and Rogue One, I was thinking, going to thinking, mm, have they got it right this time? Because they've had a few hit and misses over the time. Obviously with the sequel movies, they had the opportunity of bringing back Han, Luke and Leia together in a movie. That never happened, which is a bit of a shame really, bringing the three characters together and not putting them together in the movie, but separate, which I think was a massive, massive loss uh, for the fans. And it should have really happened really in the movies. So that was a bit of a disappointment. And obviously with Book of Boba Fett, it wasn't what we expected regarding how Boba Fett was. So going into Obi-Wan Kenobi, I was thinking, have they got it right this time? And have they got it right? They have indeed. So it's set 10 years later. It was absolutely fantastic from the beginning. We seem like a bit of a broken man here in Obi-Wan Kenobi after the Revenge of the Sith, which I personally think was the best of the trilogy movies um, regarding the, the prequels. Obviously now known as Ben, and obviously still on the planet of Tatooine. It actually, sh you know, carries on with the progression of him looking over Luke Skywalker as he's getting older. And, you know, Hugh McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi, they couldn't have picked a better person. And obviously we're getting Christian Hayden coming back as Darth Vader. Returning characters, Owen Lars and Beru Lars, played by Joel Eggington and Bonnie Priest, are back as those characters from the prequel movies. Yes, again, they probably didn't expect to come back to play these characters. And we've got Rupert Friend as a Grand Inquisitor, very menacing Darth Vader Esquire person. Also, we've got the new haunting theme tune for Obi-Wan. Um, I always wondered why they didn't have a theme tune for Obi-Wan. They've had one for quite a few of the main characters in the Star Wars movies, but it never happened. So John Williams is back doing that you know, with the brand new theme for Obi-Wan, and it's fantastic. The special effects are superb, and it pushes the boundaries regarding special effects for TV in this new mini-series. So really enjoyed these last first couple of episodes, and I think we're in for a treat 